In this video, I helped Duncan separate the wing from the fuselage of the Jodel D18. But first, a quick reminder of a flight I made with him some time ago. Don't just wait for a little bit more temperature. Yep. It doesn't take long being a car engine and quite a small amount of water. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to push your pressure too much and end up popping the seal or something. So, for the people watching this, what power plant have you got in here? This is a Subaru EA81. It's a roughly 50 horsepower. Okay. And that's what it was built with originally? That was what was originally in it, yeah. 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 So, what was the, uh, what was the construction year? It first blew in 1996. It's built by John Wibley. Yeah, I think he bought it as a part built and finished it. I'm okay. Not entirely sure about that. Yeah. But the engine's good. It's, it's, it's but well, being a car engine, it, it requires nothing really. Yeah. Just general maintenance. And obviously, we put the second Liebberg on it uh, last year or the year before. And the Liebberg is working well. Brilliantly. Yeah. Yeah. You'll notice. Um, when we did the mag check, you won't even see a drop on one side, you might hear it very slightly. It's okay. so closely timed now, and you'll hear a slight drop. The fuel is on. Uh, canopy latch your side? Yep, that's... Yep, canopy latch in the middle. I'll leave that open just for on the ground. Yep. Stuff, it up. Just for temperature in the air. Trim is set. Fuel is on. The altitude I've left to the airfield level. Yep. And then I'll come in and do a thousand foot circuit. It works yep. about right. Um, Temperatures, TP is good, we have fuel, fuel pump on, we're charging. Okay, I'm ready if you are. I'm fine, yep. I try, I try my hardest to keep my legs out of the way. <laughs> is it coming? Do you uh, no, clear. So we got the um, water temperature up now, I'd like to get it over 60 before we, before we take Okay, off. yeah. Right, you ready? Yeah, I'm keeping my arm um, over the back here. I think it's out of the way. It gives you more. Yeah, yeah, bit yeah, more. yeah, it does. Yeah, we're a bit, little bit cramped in here. Here we go. Climbing speed generally two up. I'll climb at seventy. Yeah. One up, 65. Right. You'll notice about this as well, because it's so small and light, it gets buffeted around quite a lot. Right. Any unsettled weather will bang it around. Yeah. But she seems to be climbing really well. She's climbing well, yep. We're making some good speed though. I mean, we are diving slightly, but... I mean, this is miles an hour. Yeah. I mean, the climb is quite good, so I'm guessing the air is fairly dense today. Yeah. Yeah, we're well, certainly going well enough. I mean, three, two, it will cruise faster than this if you want it to, but right. it's quite happy. Yeah. And the burn at the moment, you say, will be about? For, the, for this rev, it's about 12 litres an hour. Right. So we're doing like 105, 110 mile an hour. Cool. It's not bad for two-seater air, right. really. Um, I know Chris, when he flies it, he flies it a bit slower and he gets about 11 litres an hour. Right. So a slightly shorter approach than normal. And I'm probably going to nudge your leg out of the way. Yeah, no, I'll move it right out of the way. Get to the flaps. Right down below 80 mile an hour for the first stage of flap. Mm -hmm. First stage should be enough, usually. Yeah. They are still quite high. Come on, down, down. <laughs> nope, doesn't want to lose altitude at all. Yeah. We've always got the option of second stage. Yeah. Which we might actually be using. I don't think we're going to come down, Tim. Look, we're still... We're, sta Look. we're stationary. We're just not going anywhere. Right, <laughs> well, I'm going to use second stage of flaps. Okay. Well, I'm quite rarely doing this. All right. Oh, that's great. 
Right nose down, isn't it? Yeah. But it does bring you down quite quickly. Yeah. I might let it go again in a moment. If yeah, I mean, I always used to do that in the in the Nord. If I ever used three stages, yeah, I used to go back to two to, to land off. Bit of a last minute sinky there. Mm -hmm. Open the throttle to go up the hill. <laughs> Does that happen very often? Or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I'll try and fly right up the hill and just right. land at the end. Yeah. Not that flight, but have a look at this landing, which certainly gave Duncan something to think about. My name is Tim Palmer, I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. Last week, you were very, very pleased because you got the engine running absolutely perfectly, we didn't did. you? We did, we got it running perfectly. But now, um, we've got the engine on a, um, an engine stand. We know that um, you had asked whether I was going to be about to help remove the wing because as a result of his pre-permit inspection, Duncan felt he needed to have a closer look at the tank and its fixings. Okay. And Unfortunately, you can't get the tank out without having the wing off. All right, and the tank actually sits there behind the seat, doesn't it? It's a 60 litre tank behind the seat, yeah. Okay, so the plan is? The plan is I've disconnected everything. I think I've disconnected everything. Four wing bolts. Uh, we're gonna drop the wing, the back of the wing down onto those tubs over there. Hoist up the fuselage, roll the whole thing sideways. Place the wing over here. Okay. And that'll allow us to get at the tank. The other side a bit that's going through quite easily. Yeah, it sounded as if it was. Also moving quite easily. Mm -hmm. One bolt. <laughs> bolt one. Number two. Both okay. came out quite easily. Yeah, and you've got to just do the two so you've at the two, back. Two smaller bolts at the back. Yeah. So I'm going to undo those. I suspect there'll be some wiggling before it'll drop off the main spar in it, and all we'll have to lift the fuselage. In yeah. It. Well, I'll put the camera down in a minute. Okay. Okay. This is what holds the wing off. That is what holds so the you, airplane together. You've basically got four bolts, none of which are particularly big. No. Nope. But they do the job. That's it. That is what holds the wing to mm -hmm. the airplane. Okay. We're now going to take the wing off the airplane. really needed you to support the back of the wing while I try and wriggle the front free. Okay. Otherwise, I think if you lift the back, yeah. so I'm going to take the weight here. Yeah. I've got those bearings which will stop it falling too far. But I think once I get a certain amount yeah. off of the spar, it will then go off. Okay. Bit 
So have you got one out yet or not? It's coming undone, it's just a bit awkward to get to it. Yeah. It's sort of like a half a turn at a time. All right. I think I've stopped it from making that awful noise now. Have you got it? Yeah. Right. Does it feel like that's working, so to speak? Feels quite stiff from this end, as if it's yeah. move again. Hang on. So we did Pass find. The hammer, please. <laughs> yeah, I was going to do a piece of the camera. So we did find another bolt, and this was the one that's holding the seat belt through. It's only small, but it was making enough to uh, hold it all together. If you lift the back of the wing, mm -hmm. I jack up on the front. Sort of, uh, it's very much floating, isn't it? Yeah. If I just it's just on the tail wheel in the engine mount now, just hang on to it. Yeah. 
hanging above the hanging above it, hanging above the wing. And that's the centre section. Move the front again. Can you keep an eye on things? Yeah. Please. Keep going. If you can, you get that tail wheel, you get that tail wheel a kick, Tim. We'd probably work at the same time, can't we? Uh, we could. We can keep an eye on what's happening. Alright, yeah. Ready? see very often. No. So what do you want to do with the wing? You want to bring it forward onto here? Um, the, the idea with the wing is to get it as, as far forward as we can just so it's out of the way basically. So okay. Two different width pipes for the drain. All right. <laughs> 